Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich with me of the Biomega in German Empire. So in the last episode we started our offenses uh, in the east, or actually our offense in the east, and we've done quite well, eliminating a large amount of Russian divisions. And today we are going to continue. I'll let the tanks uh, push a bit here to create some space for us. And after we're done with that, we are going to launch two concurrent campaigns. One in here uh, towards Rostov uh, using our um, uh, light tanks. And one heavy um, offensive which is going to start here and going to go all the way towards Smolensk and going to encircle these divisions over here which is going to be led by our heavy tank divisions. So uh, that's uh, what we are planning for today. I actually wanted to mention that uh, the... Um, you know, the, the plan to build the amphibious tanks is actually going up really nicely. Uh, we have only 450 days left, and that is considering we have the efficiency of 32%. So it's going to keep coming down heavily, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. We've also started to produce the Panzer V Koenig, uh, which uh, is uh, being produced at a decent uh, rate, but we need more tungsten and more chromium to make sure it's going to come in decent numbers. So let's import a bit of chromium from... Um, actually, I'm going to start importing a bit more from... Austria and as far as tungsten goes, okay Let's import some from you and a bit from Italy Cool on that note. We can pause it uh, unpause it and then pause it again So the tanks are advancing here then advancing here. So let's uh, in the meantime send you guys actually you guys are finished with drilling amazing so six new divisions can actually join the Spanza army, and you guys are gonna be stationed here. And the rest of you can join the 5th Panzer army. And you're gonna be joined over there. So that's looking good. Uh, the Spezial Unheit is gonna go where? Well, we could actually have them get across the river here and walk along the other coast should make quite a lot of sense actually okay so let's do that where are our armies so we have you guys over here just protecting the coast you have you guys over here just protecting the coast but we have other armies in reserve over here one is... Where the hell are you guys? Oh, here. Doing nothing in this area. Okay, but you are there, ready to help with the push. That's good. We do have you guys. So we'll put you over here. And anyone else? Oh, you're still located in Morocco. Okay, so let's call this uh, Moroccan army. Uh, I think that's um, army. Morocco is the boss. Yep. Okay. So let's unpause. Have the units go. Give me all the fighters. All of the fighters. Give me all of them. Every single one. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna actually stop this madness myself. And have you guys... work on this because we can encircle a couple of divisions here so let's make sure that happens oh 
Oh, the guys you need to. Need to go here and take the rail. Okay, now we're done. So you can launch your attack over here. And uh, you are without fuel. Not the rain. Oh, it's weather. Yeah, mud. Okay, so this is not ideal. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to deal with this. Because they got mud against us. And that is the worst possible thing. Okay, let's go with localized training centers. And they will give us extra operative options. The fate of France is here. Paris has been captured and the French have been defeated. We have ripped out the heart of the revolution and now we must decide what to do with occupied France. So we can liberate them under a puppet government. Okay, so Upper Britain in Normandy, Ile de France and some other will become controlled by France and a puppet. They buried France under a puppet government, but separate Brittany. And military occupation is the only answer. Okay, so France becomes... Let's uh, liberate them under a puppet government, but separate Brittany. And we'll have a little puppet here. So what did that do to our factory production? That is awful, but as puppet, they should give us quite a lot of their production. So I'll let it... Go for a minute. Who's leading you? You're still social democrat. Political reform. Huh? Oh, okay. So now they now got the... Um, what would you call it? Uh, the regime that doesn't give them nothing. Um, like... Uh, ah, sorry. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Uh, but they have uh, the non... Specific political focus is the default political focus that doesn't give them any uh, extra bonuses. I mean, they'll they're get some, but uh, it's nothing major. Again, we finished the improved centimetric radar, giving us extra static anti air hit chance factor 20%, extra coordination, and we're gonna get a new radar here, new air ground radar. I don't know what this one does. Precision Bombardment and entire Radar and more hit chance against the enemy. So that's always good. Right. And the mud is our enemy at this point. And it's gonna be a nightmare. We have to wait for it to go away because this is... This is the worst possibility for us right now. Now concerning France is our puppet, they are now at war with Great Britain, but they don't have any army, so we need to protect them. What about Brittany? How are you doing? Social Democrat. Decent amount of factories for such a small nation. And some dockyards. I like that. Look at that! Europe is now friendly to us. All of them. I like that. Still mud. I don't mind. I don't think this is gonna happen for us anytime soon. So let's instead prepare with you guys and we can attack here. And start taking over the other area. Yep. Uh, so wait, I need to stop you. You will stay here. And once they get across, we are going to attack this area. Okay, and we can get another agent. Albina Sidorova. Okay, Intel Network Strength, Operative Detection. Okay, let's get Albina Sidorova. Can we use you to root out the resistance somewhere? Now, considering this is now a puppet, we don't really need to do anything there. 
Hmm, I will use you later on when we conquer that area. Oh, that's interesting. We count this as our own territory. <laughs> no idea how that happened, but fine. Okay, still mud. Oh, we have it paused. Okay, that's why we haven't gotten it yet. Oh, Jesus Christ, production is just a nightmare. And we're building military factories in their territory now. Well, that kind of sucks, but okay, what can you do? Uh, building more panzers. France, give me all of your steel. Okay, so here we go. What, what? No. Special on height. Here you go. There's wins. It's kind of interesting that the the ones that are actually crossing the river have a higher bonus than the ones that are attacking straight land to land. They found that peculiar and funny at the same time. Still mud. Still mud, yeah. May is a really terrible month for tanks. Okay, you stay here. Don't want this border to be in this big. Okay, and now we can attack here. Okay, that's a precursor for our later offensive. Still mud, mud. Some of you actually suggested some episodes ago that we use the uh, motorized army for something, but at this point, I really don't know what for to use them because their breakthrough is fairly low. They have really high um, basic offense. Um, Meaning they are good in the soft attack department, but I was thinking that we could change them all to mechanized, but we don't have enough mechanized equipment for that, actually. But that would be the best possible. I think that unit like this would be great for the breakthrough of 212, increase in soft attack and hard attack, they would be really good. The issue is we would need 2880. Uh, mechanized equipment and we have nowhere near enough of that. Ace pilot promoted. Oh, you guys are exhausted actually. Still mud. More mud than I have ever seen in my life. Okay, only 387 days. We're gonna hit the year very soon. And we're starting to rake in the benefits of the LVS. So what if we... What if I actually lowered this? Oh, what did I put you at? The... And I can put... Like so. So it's gonna kill the production as well, a bit. Yeah, but um, it's gonna keep going faster. And we're below a year now. Okay, mud and 19 degrees. And yeah, Special Anai is preparing the grounds for us here. Eighteen degrees mud, 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 mud. 
mud everywhere but once the mud goes away they are toast they are literally toast Hmm. How are you guys doing? Phobias Tank Chassis. He's pilot mounted. Yeah, we need to kill this production a bit. We're starting to have a ton of infantry equipment, so we don't need enough or that much of it. We're also having a huge amount of anti-air. So that is fine. We can... No, the mechanized will keep because we need to upgrade a ton of those. The LVS is... Yeah, anti-tank armored car is fine. We have way too many white tanks. Yeah, we need way more... Aluminum now. Hans, give me what my heart desires. Oh wait, that's too much. Let's lower this. Production of the tungsten steel. We got too much of steel here. So I'll just lower it. Chromium. Or that as well. It's still insane that they are decimating us this much. I feel like we're doing something completely wrong. So let's uh, pull all of our... Can I just take all of you? And I mean... All of you. Stop you. And put you somewhere like here. And we are going to reorganize you and try to figure out what we can do with you. Because you've been failing at the conflict for so long, it's insane. Still with mud. Hey, clear! There's a bit of mud here, but... Still more mud. Okay, let's do a little... Air Force alignment. So we got nearly 3,000 aircraft. Let's split them. Uh, by type. So we got fighters. So fighters will fly here. Oh, I can do it just like this. We got 800 close air support. So let's send you... Hmm. Okay, here. Your tactical bombers, 378 of you. Okay, let's send you over there. Get 1,000 naval bombers. The naval bombers are okay. They are absolutely fine. So I just send them somewhere for now. We don't really have that many airfields, it seems. Okay, let's send you over here. Actually, no, let's send you. There is a thousand airplanes over there. And you guys can instead go hmm. tactical bombers, huh? Well, it's Swiss. God, I really don't have that many big airfields. Okay, let's send you over there. Get seven transports. And 44 carrier wings. Okay. Yeah, we're missing a huge amount of carrier fighters as well. 
Yeah, we have lost... How well we're doing in the land war is one thing, but we have definitely lost the air war in this one. The AI is just decimating us. Did you guys? Yeah, you are now able to do this, I think. Extreme environment training. Now let's get the elite forces. Soft attack and organization increased by 5% and 5. Hot acclimatization and cold acclimatization increased by 20%. And supply grace plus 48%. Okay, I think the mud is gone. No, well, not everywhere, but definitely down here. So our light tanks can do this. And there is no stopping them. I mean, actually, one thing that I could do here, and that's also an important thing that we haven't done. The Tan Panzer Kampfwagen 2 Ausführung C can be upgraded to Ausführung D. And we can put it for production. Instead of you, I'll just have you put new radios on them. Okay, you guys can go this way. You guys can go this way. So do we their border and you guys can go this way localized training centers are done so let's continue with uh, psychological warfare And considering you are actually attacking us, I think the... Attack here is going to be more than... Um, a good idea. Okay, we'll move from Lugansk down to Rostov. Just shorten it. Okay, the mud here is gone as well, so we can take our 5th Panzer Army and start the offensive. So you guys can strike here. You guys can strike here. This will immediately close this little pocket, seven divisions, which are going to get eliminated. Okay, two of you are going to go over here. And two of you are going to attack here. I'm going to go over there. We have to be wary of few demand, because this might be a bit too... I mean, a bit too uh, overextending ourselves. It's a bit too optimistic. Okay, our tanks are penetrating here, which is great. And these guys will no longer be able to protect anyone. And at this point we can just eliminate the six divisions. And we just need to break Rostov. The moment we do, the pocket is closed. Nice. 
Another victory for the good guys. Uh, 12 divisions of the 45th army, which is you guys. And you are actually going to protect this entire area. Because we need that more than we need just that. Okay. Rostov is going to be taken. This is not original. Wow, that's interesting. This part. This wasn't a part of Ukraine originally. I am rather surprised by that. Okay. So how about you guys stop and find a target you can both attack, which is this. Because we're gonna try to eliminate as many troops here as possible and as quickly as possible. Jesus Christ, you're taking forever in getting there. And that might be just because of the fuel constraints. Yeah. And now they are closed. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18 divisions will be eliminated here. Nice. Okay, that's how you do it. The collapse will then be complete. Okay, let's see if we can do this and this. Looks like we might. Okay, Rostov is holding, which means we can now push them out into the fray here. Okay, now tanks advance. They did. Okay, I need to start dividing our border because this is getting a bit ridiculous. So you guys gonna go over here. And you guys will attack over there. Well, I don't get how you're still I'm not winning this. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that's a city! Now I understand. It's an urban combat. Wow, I did not realize that at all. Okay, you need to get just in here. And where's that army here, Jesus Christ? You're supposed to... Take this area, go. Okay, we'll connect around here. We'll actual attack over here. And we'll strike you over here because we need to enhance this border. It's gonna be just a small pocket, but a good one. Yeah, you guys are gone. Nice, so another... Oh, this is actually part of the Baltic Duchy. Are you out of fuel? No. So how come they're pushing you so... Panic bonus, huh? Yeah. Can I actually start breaching here? I think I can. Where's the rest of the tanks? Okay, so you guys, I want the 5th Panzer Army, I'm gonna go over there. And we're gonna close this off whether they like it or not. Cool, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. This is looking pretty good. We got... Pocket informing with at least 10 divisions in it. Uh, we've actually formed a pocket in here with... Okay, I can't count that like that, but it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, and then 7, so 18 divisions in here. Good. 
and here that's gonna be more Ukrainian territory and some of the Baltic Duchy. And we're gonna continue with this, just chipping away at the enemy army piece by piece until there's nothing left. And you can see that they got like maybe 290 divisions. So they really cannot take that many casualties. Already they lost nearly 8 million troops in this fight. So the fact that we're gonna keep decimating them like this is not gonna be good for them. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy. And in 285 days, we are going to launch the invasion of Great Britain, now known as Union of Britain. It's gonna be it's gonna be way sooner, but we'll launch it, don't you worry.